second week of testimony in the murder trial for ex-officer Derek Chauvin ended with medical testimony. Jurors heard from Hennepin County's medical examiner. Dr. Andrew Baker answered questions about his finding during George Floyd's autopsy. Esme Murphy has details on what happened in the courtroom today. Esme? Hi there, Aaron. Well, under cross-examination, Dr. Andrew Baker described his autopsy findings and also discussed his conversations about George Floyd's heart conditions and his fentanyl use. Do you recall telling the county attorney's office that had you found Mr. Floyd under different circumstances, um, you would have determined this to be a fentanyl overdose? So I don't recall specifically what I told the county attorney, but it almost certainly went something like this. Had Mr. Floyd been home alone in his locked residence with no evidence of trauma, and the only autopsy finding was that fentanyl level, then yes, I would certify his death as due to fentanyl toxicity. Dr. Andrew Baker also testified George Floyd had narrowing of the arteries surrounding his heart. He had very severe underlying heart disease. Mr. Floyd also had what we call hypertensive heart disease, meaning his heart weighed more than it should. Um, so he has a heart that already needs more oxygen than a normal heart by virtue of its size. But Baker labeled heart disease and fentanyl use as not direct causes, but rather contributing factors to Floyd's death. The law enforcement subdual restraint and the neck compression was just more than Mr. Floyd could take by virtue of that, those heart conditions. Baker's findings, though, have led the prosecution to bring on a parade of expert medical witnesses who have all given low oxygen levels caused largely by Derek Chauvin's knee restraint as the cause of death. Another of those experts testified earlier. There's no evidence to suggest he would have died that night except for the interactions with law enforcement. Autopsy photos were not broadcast, but instead given in packets to the jurors and parties, including to Derek Chauvin, who at one point looked at them, made notes, and then placed them on his desk. Now, for the first time since jury selection, the spectator seat for Derek Chauvin was actually taken. The woman was described by the pool reporter as being of Asian descent and having curly hair. She, however, did not give her name or her connection to George Floyd when the pool reporter asked her. And throughout this trial, again today, we had a member of the George Floyd family in court. And with that, week two of testimony in the books. Thank you, Esme Murphy. And you can watch the trial streaming all day on CBSN Minnesota. Just download our app or watch it live on WCCO.com.